So I made this video. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hey guys, Meow it's Bree here and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support. Just it was it was like unbelievable. Like you guys are so freaking sweet about it and like you had so many compliments and I don't know, I just didn't think it would be that great. Like the compliments actually mostly came from my Flims Amino, which I expected it to come from there mostly. Like I expected just like feedback in general, not compliments. So like thank you guys so much. Like it means a lot to me and um I'm gonna cry a little bit. <laughs> okay, but uh also I'm kinda sick, I guess. Yeah, allergies in the summer doesn't make any sense, but <clears throat> so my voice might sound a little congested, whatever. But you know it's fine. It's like thundering slash lightning, so I made this video <sighs> Okay, so I made this video not only because, you know, I wanted to make a video to post, I'm also really terrified right now, so this is the only thing that's gonna, um, distract me. So yes, moving on to why I freaking made this video. Okay, so, uh, as you saw the title, this video is to help you guys make really pretty pictures and such, whatever, like thumbnails or just pictures in general. Yeah, like edits and cool stuff like that um, very easily in online. Nothing is on Photoshop, no download crap, nothing. And so I actually pulled Dallas Day. She's from my library. And I made her actually for a collab, <clears throat> but that collab got canceled. So she was just kind of sitting in there, lonely. So I figured, you know, might as well do something with her. And so I'm going to use her to make the edits. And so basically why I have this opened in Creasim is because I have poses. I'm not going to show you how to download them, but if you do want to know how to download them, then just don't be afraid to like, you know, tell me and I can make a video about how to download not only poses, but custom content as well. Like, you're basically anything. Just hit me up. Slide into my DMs. Okay, too much. Alright, so um, basically what I have is the create a sim poses because I like those better. I just, I don't know. I don't really like the in-game poses because I don't really have pretty background. Um, I guess that's my fault. <laughs> So I just stick with create a sim. Actually, hold on guys, I'm gonna change this background just because I feel like later on when I get rid of it, um, which I'll show you how, it's gonna get rid of her hair too since, since it's like the same color. So yes, I'll be right back with a different colored background. Okay guys, I am back. Um, I chose the green screen basically because she's not wearing any green and it's like easier to remove. Like I said, I will. you will find out later what I mean by remove. And so yes, okay, so the poses I wanna use Okay, the poses I want to use are, I have actually a lot, so we're just gonna find out. I'm gonna do one close up and then one like mid shot, you know, so I can. And so basically what you do for this is, because I see on Sims Amino a lot of people take like pictures of their Sims, um, like on their phones from their screens and like they want to know how to do it but they don't know and like honestly I didn't either until like a month ago maybe and so once I found out literally I couldn't stop taking screenshots and stuff. What you do, like I said you take screenshots, like I'm just gonna take one right now, practice taking one. So uh, on your keyboard you press C and see right here this should pop up, <laughs> don't look at me please, Wait, that's like me from like freshman uh -huh. year. <laughs> um, but yes, so your it, it should pop up right there on your right hand whatever on the top right and what that does is it saves it under the um in your documents folder under um the sims 4 under screenshots that was that was such a mess but i'll show you too don't worry and uh so you have access to them there so um i'm gonna speed through uh me picking poses and stuff like i said i only take like two out of however many i pick so i doubt i'll take that much because i'm not really that picky I am, I'm not gonna lie, but like, I kind of have an idea, so we'll, we'll just see. Okay, I'll see you guys after. Alright, hey guys, um, so I took the pictures and I went ahead and just like exited the game and so now you see my cluttered and wonderful desktop and so now we go and find the pictures and I'm going to show you my method on what I do. Um, you don't have to follow this method, but okay. So <clears throat> basically you open up your library and then you go to documents and again as you can see this is for Win Windows, this isn't, this isn't for Mac. 
I'm pretty sure it's the same though. I'm pretty sure it'll all be under library and like, okay. So then you go to Electronic Arts, uh, The Sims 4, obviously. And then right here there's a photo that, I mean, there's a folder that says uh, screenshots. And the latest ones you take are going to be all the way at the bottom. And so those are the ones I took. And I was feeling this one, so I'm going to use this one. And so what I do is the ones I like, I drag them out to my desktop. Uh, okay. And let me find the body, half body one that I liked. And I like this one. Okay. And I drag this one out too. And um, so I don't like to keep them on my desktop, mainly because it just looks clustered and it's hard to find when you need them later. So what I do is I go to my pictures and I make a new folder. And um, the folder I have for all of them is called Simsies. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. So I go here and I go all the way down because they're going to go all the way down there anyways. And I um, highlight them all and I just take them to Simsies and there they lay. Alright, so now we go to the first editing software and it's Pixlr. It's basically Photoshop-ish online. It's completely 100% free and uh, it says login. You don't have to log in. The only time you would want to log in is if you want to save your pictures like on the website and so like it I guess helps save room which is pretty convenient and I'll probably have to look into signing in and signing up for free later on but right now I'm not so what you do is when you get to pixar.com which I'll have all the links in the bio in the description box whatever it's called and you scroll down and you go over here is like what are, what are they called fonts and and different stuff but I mean I don't use that I use a different website for font but I'll get to that but right here we use the um, Pixlr editor and so since we are uh, creating a thumbnail um, which honestly really you could use this thumbnail for a picture anyways but I'm gonna do it in a format as, as if it was just a thumbnail so you go to create new image and what you want to do is you can title it but I'll title it later and so the width should be uh, 1280 by 720 because that's what um, YouTube suggests the thumbnail be and well that's what it should be because if not it's gonna be either too small and there's gonna be black outlining in your thumbnail or too big and like stuff's gonna get cut off so yes so we have it like this and you press OK so there is your untitled beginning of the masterpiece and I'm gonna do this type of background it's like an ombre kind of background I guess the gradient is what you call it really so uh, I'm gonna pick a color and um I can't see what she looks like. I guess a, I'll do a blue. A, uh, like a blue type of, like a light blue. Move this. So like. I mean, you can do whatever color you want, whatever color you feel matches your sim, big, obviously. Um, so like, yeah. Right here is good. Okay, then press okay. I want the white effect, not the black, because if I, you'll see what I'm about to do, but like if I did the black, it would have been like nasty looking. So yeah, so just draw the line. Oh, if, don't be a noob like me. Um, remember, if you pick that first and then you pick your color. Okay, now draw your line. Whichever way you want, whatever direction you want it to go. I like this direction, so we're going to take it this direction. Okay, so you have your background. Now, to enter the photo, you press layer. And you put open image as layer. And you go to wherever you put your uh, little sim your simsies and so I'm going to use the first one open all right and then you go to this little magic wand right here and basically what it does is it deletes the outline so you press backspace and delete and you're probably gonna have to like zoom in just to find like little hints of other green or whatever color background you choose so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, there's still some green left in there, but it's just, and I'm a perfection, perfectionist, so like, it's really bugging me seeing it there, but there's nothing I can, like, alright, for time's sake, we're just gonna ignore it. I mean, you can, like me, um, go back and just 
take it all out or like it just it, I guess it just really depends because his hair has a lot of like stray away pieces you know because realistic CC so of course it would be harder but I guess it just really depends and if this happens to you and you don't like it then just go ahead and you know just take your time do it all out it does not matter okay so once you're done you click here and this basically is moving the image and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, let me zoom out a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna move her out right now. She looks pixelated right now, but don't worry, guys. Just don't have faith. Have faith. Okay, so basically, what's next is this right here. This tool light and stuff, so you can use it on eyes and and yeah, hair. Uh, and this one right here, it darkens, so like you can use shadows for right there and right there and like anywhere. I'm not gonna use them today. Just you know, just keep it simple um but you can go ahead and do that at your own will that is all you do. so next is adding uh, the white outlining around the picture and the shadows so what you do is you go here and you right click and you go to layer styles you can move this over so you can see the image then you go to outer glow and right here you change this color to white i mean you don't have to have it white that line could be any color you want it but you know i'm gonna keep it white here and uh, the size kind of you can't tell obviously because it's on the white but uh, you can tell like right here. So hardness just makes it, you know, like a hard line and size is obviously the size of the line. So I'm gonna keep it pretty small if you're looking right here. I'm gonna keep it pretty small, but relatively small. And there you go. Oh, and look, uh, sometimes that happens. It's just like the rest of the stuff you didn't get to take out. So you just go here and same thing with the wand. You just kind of delete it, then it goes away. Then like click the line again so it can, oh, click the lines again so it can disappear. That's what I hate about it. And just move the image back. All right, and now adding the next picture again, it would be adding another layer. So do the same thing: open images layer, then go find the other sim, which is the body one. And again, wand tool to take it all out. So I guess I'll just speed through since I'm literally doing the same exact thing to the smaller picture. So yeah, so I'll be back when it is done. Okay, so I'm gonna be placing her behind the bigger one, and like I said before, there's obviously more green to get rid of. Yay! Um, but basically, to push her to the back, you um grab, I guess, yeah. I did it to where this layer came first, but to move uh whatever you want front or back, you grab the layer. So her mid shot is the layer, and then you just push it to the front, like in front of layer one, which is this is layer one. And yeah, now she's behind. And I'm gonna put her about right here. Now I'm gonna get rid of all the other nasties. Okay, and then I'm just gonna speed through the um, outer layer part because you know, we guys know. The thing I forgot is the shadow, which is obviously the drop shadow. And is this the angle, whether you want it on that side or this side or wherever. Put one on this side and I want it to be, you know, more of a shadow. Uh, you don't have to add the shadow. Sometimes it looks good with the shadow and sometimes it doesn't. So, but I like the shadow and this is like how much you want it over there. And um, I think we'll just have it like right there. It's okay. And so um, I feel like I should move her over a little bit more just so we could have everything. It's more room for the text. Okay, add the shadow to the main image. Alright, and so as for here, that's it. I'm gonna save it. So let's go to file, then you press save. So I'm gonna name this Can you thumbnail part one? And uh, you wanna go ahead and save it. I save it as a transparent from here just because it, it's better quality. So press OK and then you save it. And what I do is also I have another folder for thumbnails since this is a thumbnail. Um, again, you don't have to be as organized. And I quote unquote organized because, you know, yeah, it's just folders. Um, but <clears throat> I like to do it. The uh, next website we're going to be using is PicMonkey. It actually already redirects me to the edit part. So basically when you um, log into PicMonkey, it's on the top, it's going to say edit. So you just click edit and it basically gives you the same option as if you were to click this and you pull the image from uh, my computer and open new image. Okay, so it's here. Thumbnail part one. 
what I like to do is I like to go to sharpen and I like to obviously sharpen it obviously too much sharpen would be ugh, gross so I guess not not too much just enough and then clarify apply here is where I add the text there's probably a bunch of pretty prettier text out there in that world but I guess here is just it's good for now good for now so I like the way this Emily's candy looks so you click uh, you basically click whatever font you like there's a lot to choose from um, I'm not a member and so I'm not like I can't the ones with crowns are basically the ones you can't get but it's okay there's still pretty ones for non members I guess and so you press add text and you want to make this editing with Brie conceited no, I'm just kidding. I want to see if white oh shoot okay so we're gonna up the size a bit and just you know basically what you would do with editing editing stuff um and like I said there's obviously much better sites with more variety of fonts but this is, I guess, it's just kind of basic and easy to handle, so that's why I like it so much. And then we'll do different text at the bottom. We'll see how this looks with it. And obviously, <laughs> your text will vary on what you're doing. And I think I'll use like a blue for this one since it's such a little font. And I guess to add effect is I'll add another um, text. Or look, I'll change the color of this for the background. And basically, I'll just add a... I'll add another the white text on top of it so I have like a background to it and add text. I'm the same size. Three. That looks much better. I feel like this is too light, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the font. The creative stuff kind of looks plain to me, so what I usually do when stuff looks too plain is I go to Google and I type in uh, Tumblr. Oh goodness gracious! Tumblr transparent, and um, see these like images right here. When you save them, they'll be transparent, as in they won't have a background. So that's good. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna add a wave. I like the wave. So save image as. Go to here. So I'll just save it here. I'll say I do this all the time. So I'll use this. Okay, then we go back here and then you go to overlay because that's how you add in your own pictures. Like, um, so you don't replace the main one that you you brought in. PNG because PNG is transparent. So I only want one of the waves. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase the other ones. All right, so because I'm me, I ended up not liking the waves. So this whole clip is like a waste of time. And um, I just, I didn't like the way it looked, so I ended up changing it, and you will see that shortly, so I know. Alright, so I didn't like the way the waves looked, and I went ahead and just found some flowers. I think they're really pretty. I, I kind of, I like this. Um, I guess, all opinions, just an opinion. After this, you just go ahead and you click save. Here is the, it's the best resolution. Like it says, it's, it's high resolution, but a large file size, but I mean, if you have, it's only kilobytes, so it's not really, I mean, I don't, it's not that big. And so right here, it's 1280 by 720 like it should be. And so basically, you just press save to computer. And you go to whatever file, folder, or whatever, if you don't have one, cool. And you just save it there. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I, I really, really hope that this tutorial helped. I tried to make it as simple as possible because I know how hard it is and how frustrating it can be to try and do something like this, especially when it's something you really, really want to do. And as you can tell, it was like my first ever tutorial on anything, so my word choice was a bit odd. Um, but I really did try and so again don't be afraid to leave any suggestions down below or in Sims Amino and I uh, hope you guys stay awesome. Thanks for watching